Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon here, welcome to another episode of Star Wars Visions. Uh, this is episode number four, and um, I have on the whole really enjoyed all of the episodes so far. Some more than others, um, if I had to rank it so far I'd say Jules is my favourite, oh, sorry, The Jewel is my favourite, uh, The Twins is my second favourite, and Tatooine Rhapsody is my third favourite. Um, particularly enjoyed the last episode just because of the wackiness of it, the um, cool design of the Star Destroyer, and, you know, it, it felt like it took a lot of inspiration from a lot of Star Wars stuff, you know, Luke and Leia, um, there was a lot of callbacks to The Last Jedi, um, you know, it was just very over the top, and I think, like I said, it was the most anime of all the episodes so far. Um, now, this episode is called The Village Bride, which is an interesting one. Not quite sure where they're going to lead with that, but it's another longer one. It's 18 minutes long, so it's. I think this is the longest one that we've seen so far. Um, and hopefully it should be really interesting. So we're going to jump in. There's not much, it's hard to really talk about these things because they are really short, and I like to go into as much detail as possible in my reviews. So it's really hard to kind of like try and give an intro into it because you know there isn't they're not all connected you know so they don't feed into one another it is all different styles and um, it's different studios so it's not all you know it, you can't link it to anything else um but we're going to jump in before we do i want to say a big thank you to my patreon super supporters demi edge ernesto sanchez jr frank tremel geraldine camoyne Karen Abel, Michael Y, Mr. Greg 89, Nick Walters, and Nightwolf 37. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's see what happens. I thought that was a lightsaber at first. Maybe it was a lightsaber at one point. Not yet. It's too interesting. But That's a, an interesting to helmet. It doesn't suit you. That mask. Well, we've all got to wear masks right now, you know? The pandemic's kind of a thing. You can't have a bride with dirty feet. Where we're going is far too sacred for that. Oh, he's a he's a gentleman. I wish my parents could be here to see this. Ooh, I love the music. That's something I've not noticed all that much so far is the music. I've been focusing more on the style of animation. But I really like the music here. She's really just an onion. That's a pretty sight. We are the forest. We are the river. We are one. They're getting married. Oh. Oh, what's this? Flashbacks. Oh shit, what happened to my sister? We're making a path for the fish. For the planet's memories. Oh. Oh no. We're gonna see the Empire. Yep. He's still carrying her. <laughs> the sun's rising. It has been since a long time before we were born. The separatists stripped them all of their resources. Oh. Uh -huh. And all just for war. That's all that war is. Nothing but loss. This is an intriguing one. I'm trying to work the story out here. So this, they're getting married, as far as I can understand it. All of this would seem so wrong. After why are they? Tomorrow, isn't it? They'll take her away. What? When the separatists left, you would have thought that would be the end of it. But no. We'll take her away. That only made room for a different kind of horror. 
And what's worse, they wanted the village chief as collateral. But his granddaughter volunteered to take his place. Uh. And they're coming to take her as well. Right, okay, that makes sense. Uh, he's drinking himself. <laughs> Why is the grandfather letting her take his place? Shouldn't he be like, you know what, I'm old, I've had a good life. Yeah. I see where it's going now. For the village. Maybe they're gonna help. It's not as if I care about that little code of yours. Why should I pretend to? What code? That she won't fight? She won't get involved? Because she's a Jedi. Is he going with her? Wouldn't they just kill him? I mean, if they're bandits, they're not likely to be... Oh. Oh. Wait. Are they getting ready to fight? No, he wants to fight. We're in this together. Ooh. Off comes the mask. So in a way, it was like a chastity mask. Like, she will not do violence while she wears the mask. Oh, they've got the sister. Oh, they got the voice of the battle droids. I can't have anyone trying to ambush me now, can I? No exceptions, I'm afraid. Lightsaber. Is that a red blade? What? Oh no, she's holding it back. Oh, she said it. May the force be with you. Yes. What are you doing? Shoot them! Kill them all! Oh, of course. He uses a blaster? Where's his lightsaber? <laughs> Going into the ship. Are you some kind of a monster? She is a Jedi. I am a Jedi. Yeah. Yellow blade, samurai blade. I love that one. Ooh. Oh, she cut his hand off before he could shoot. That's so cool. I do love that lightsaber. Okay, so another really, really good episode. Um, for the first sort of five minutes, I was kind of struggling to see where things were going with this. Um, but it really opened up, you know, um, towards the end. And the big difference in this episode for me is that it was the first time that I really noticed the soundtrack. Um, obviously, the soundtrack had been there for the other episodes, but it wasn't as powerful as in this episode. And another thing that I really liked was her lightsaber. The way that, you know, it kind of, the energy pulsed beneath the hilt um, was really cool. And, you know, again, another another kind of classic story of, you know, a uh, fallen sort of soldier or warrior or disenfranchised warrior saving a village from bandits. You know, it is very typical and kind of cliche for, you know, a, a samurai story. Um, but again, I just, I love 
the tie-ins to, to Star Wars, you know, the idea that this planet and their connection to nature um, and the Force, you know, it, it is the Force, essentially, you know, that, that's what it is. It's an entire community that, although they might not be Force-sensitive, they still have the ability to connect through the Force in what, in their eyes, is just nature. Um, so I, I really liked that you know, um, that connection there. So, yeah, it was a really, really good episode. I, I, I really enjoyed it. You know, I was trying to figure out what the character's motivations were. You know, it was clear that she was a Jedi and that something had happened to her master. This was in the, you know, the before the Galactic Civil War, but after the um, Clone Wars had ended. So she'd clearly lost her master in the, you know, in Order 66 but you know, trying to figure out what her motivation was, what her code was, you know, was was one of the things that I think in, intrigued me. Um, and you know, yeah, it was just it was it was a decent story, great soundtrack, some really cool visuals. I love the, um, I mean, that the hair ship and the the bandit ship were clearly modifications on existing Star Wars ships. Um, so I always I always like to see different people's designs of Star Wars ships. It's a, there's a lot of creativity out there, and, and some of them look really, really cool. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next one.